Today we're taking a look at Stable Diffusion XL Lightning, which has just been released by ByteDance. And I'm going to show you how to install it locally into Focus, which is the easiest to use Stable Diffusion interface. Now they say that you can generate amazing quality images in just two steps. So they have a two step, a four step, an eight step, and even a one step model. They do say the one step model is more experimental, that makes sense, but two steps would be insane if it could generate anything of good quality. So you can just use their demo, which will be here. I'll leave the link for this Hugging Face page in the description. So here you can actually test it out, but I want to install it locally for free. Now if you have not installed Focus, it's the easiest thing in the world. I'll leave the link for their GitHub page in the description as well, but you can literally just Google how to install Focus. That's Focus with three O's. Once you have Focus installed, you should have a folder like this. Now to start the application, you just run this run.bat file, but first we're gonna install SDXL Lightning. So to do that, head back to that first link in the description, and then we wanna head over to Files and Versions. And here you'll see a bunch of files. Now the ones we're interested in are the ones with LoRa in the name, as that's the only way we can use SDXL Lightning in Focus, is by using LoRa's. You can see they have different steps in different models, so just choose the ones you want. I just downloaded the two-step LoRa and also the four-step LoRa. So you just want to hit this download icon here. That'll download those files. Once they're downloaded, you want to head back to your focus. Then you want to head into the focus folder, then go to models, then LoRa's. And this is where you want to put those LoRa's we just downloaded. So there we go, I just dragged them in. Now we want to head back to the main focus folder, hit that run.bat and it will launch focus automatically. So it will open focus in a new tab on your standard browser. To turn on the SDXL lightning, we want to go to advanced. First of all, we want to hit the aspect ratio one by one as that's the easiest because that's what it's been trained on the most. Most of them should work, but I think one by one would work best. We can leave the image number at one. Now to turn on the model, we want to go to models. You can leave this LoRa on as well. And then at LoRa 2, we want to just select the one you want to use. So we're going to start with the two step, see what kind of results we get from that. The weighting of one should work fine. So according to this image, they are using the Euler sampler and the SGM uniform scheduler. So all you have to do is in that advanced tab, go to developer debug mode. At the bottom here, you want to change the sampler to Euler and the scheduler to SGM uniform. Now, because I'm starting off with the two step model, we also want to override the amount of steps that the image will generate at. So to do that, just change this to the number of steps for the model you're using. And that should be it. We can also play around with these styles. I don't think we need Focus V2. We could use these other ones though. So let's try this with a cute corgi wearing a top hat. Let's try to make it photo realistic. Hit generate, see how fast it is. Now I'm running this on an old GTX 1080. The first generation will take longer because it has to move the model to the GPU. So I'll speed this one up, but the next one will be real time. Okay, something is definitely wrong here. Um, maybe if we turn down the guidance scale to like one, maybe that'll work. There we go. Much better. Look how fast that was. And there we have him. Our Corgi wearing a top hat. That's actually really impressive. Just two steps. So let's try a beautiful woman, purple hair, purple eyes, smiling and photorealistic. So this is real time. I won't speed this up at all. Okay. Well, uh, I think she needed a few more steps to generate her correctly. Let's try again. Not bad. Definitely not bad for two steps. Let's try four steps. Although this is really, really impressive. Maybe if we up the sharpness a little bit here. Let's try it again. So quick. Not fantastic results with this though. Let's try the four step. See if it's a lot better than the three step uh, than the two step one. So back over to advanced. We'll just change this to four and hit generate again. Wow. Okay, that's definitely better. Let's try our classic Alama riding a skateboard. Very simply. Wow, that's really impressive. Just four steps. It's absolutely incredible. All right, let's try this. I just copied this from a Stable Diffusion prompt website. Stunning illustration of a demonic warrior. There's the prompt. Actually, we should also include the negative prompts. Paste them in there. Hit generate. So impressive. The speed as at which it generates this is absolutely insane. Look at the quality of that armor. 
I mean, to get this in four steps is incredible. Amazing quality. I'll put some more images I generated with this on screen now. So try it out yourself. It's completely free and open source as always. Please leave a like if you like this video and join our Discord if you love AI. And I'll see you next time.